have to go to bed. You know what? Fine. Simba. You guys are not going to get me this morning. I am in too good a mood. I met an amazing woman. <laughs> Finally, the whole Simba. package. Oh, you met her at the <laughs> seminar? No, that's just it. It was right here in town last night. She's a classy, smart, beautiful lady. Look, I took a picture of it. See? Because I found a real woman. <laughs> oh, hey, Brian. Hey, not to worry. I called in, and a new cell phone should be here for you in three business days. What? Why? Yeah, clearly yours is broken because I haven't heard from you. I wanted to tell you about my week. Doesn't anyone in this house care about anyone but themselves? Hey, Brian. How was the seminar? Meg, please. I'm serious, Dewey. I've had an amazing few days, and nobody cares. Well, come on in. Come on in. Tell old Stu. Okay, well, first, the seminar was terrific. I absorbed so much. And then I get back here last night, and I meet an incredible woman. You know, I've heard the phrase soulmate for years, and I never got it till last night. Well, I've got a woman story for you that you're not going to believe. Quagmire's father, decorated war hero, Lieutenant Commander Dan Quagmire, is now a woman. You're kidding. Nope, total sex change. Oh, that is hysterical. I know, huh? <laughs> Suck on that, Quagmire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's not settling with a Q-man all too well. Oh, my God. What, what does it look like? You know, not half bad. Nothing you look twice at, but not bad. Oh, my God. That, you know, that is a tough road ahead. I mean, like, what, what do those people do as far as relationships and sex and stuff? I don't know. I mean, it's going to be a train wreck down there, right? I mean, just... Just an absolute casserole of nonsense. Is she over there right now? We should go take a look. No, they had a fight. She's staying at the Marion. Oh, damn, I was just there. Really? Yeah, maybe I saw him in the lobby and didn't even know. Oh, no, you'd know. Oh, man, what, what, what do we call him now? We, we still call him Dan? No, and I'm not crazy about the name change. What is it, like Danielle or Dana? No, Ida. Oh, Dad, I've been worried sick. Where have you been? Listen, I, I feel awful about the things I said last night. I was selfish. Oh, you weren't selfish. I realize I put a lot on you. I was wrong to just assume that you would understand and be able to accept this. But trust me, I have been unhappy for a long, long time. Wow. Well, all I want is for you to be happy. You're my dad. And if you're happy, I'm happy for you. I'm sorry, Dad. I love you. I love you too, Glenn. Glenn? Sorry, sorry. Damn thing can't tell the difference. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, well, so now that we got all the mush out of the way, I have some news. Tell me, tell me. I met someone. What, you did? Oh, my God, Glenn, he's amazing. I couldn't be happier. Really? What's his name? No! Where is it? Where is that self-centered, arrogant son of a bitch? Get out of there, you dirty little 
ever see you anywhere near my house, I'll blow your head off! <coughs> now lay there and die, you piece of crap! Hey. I'm your dad.